Hi, this is Paul with Promisec, and in this short informational video, we're going to walk you through the integration between Bluecoat and Promisec. Promisec and Bluecoat have announced their joint collaboration to have combined interoperability between both vendors, Promisec and Bluecoat, to coexist in a customer's enterprise ecosystem. This means you can have the tools to share information for maximum investment in both solutions. Here on the Blue Coat website, we can see that Promisec is defined as one of their EDR certified partners. And as you can see, you can drill down in there and get more information. What we're going to do now is in this use case video, we're going to just simply walk through passing information from the Promisec console to the security Blue Coat security analytics platform with supplied data from Promisec. Let's go take a look. Here we can see this is the Promisec Endpoint Manager or EDR solution, Endpoint Detect and Remediation. Uh, this is our main manager that allows you to set up sentries deployed across the world that has configurations assigned to it that are targeting different endpoints and querying for different data. Here we've done a cyber configuration to go out and determine the hash values and if they've been compromised in the enterprise. Now let's go look and see the results. So we have the ability here, we have already have a predefined filter for uh, FIM, bad reputation, and that's what we're showing so far. We have the ability then to do right-click remediation on it and do other tasks uh, to use other solutions in the enterprise ecosystem. Of course, we can do the normal things that you want to do forensically, like dump the master file table, take actions, um, you know, go ahead and launch an incident response. But in this use case with Bluecoat, we're going to go ahead and look at these three that we've already predefined for our customer base and potential customer base with Bluecoat and Promisec. In this simple one, we're going to launch on this specific object, this one server that has come up with a bad hash on a object called Auto KMS EXE. So now we just go ahead and click on it, and we're going to make a function call out to the Bluco platform and specifically provide the information, the IP4 address, and all the information that was uh, transferred over to the Bluco platform so you can automatically bring it up without having to go through very much of having to go out there, query for it in Bluecoat, and do the other things. Here it automatically is bringing up the data and showing us uh, the information that has been gathered over time by the security analytics platform and making it an enterprise roll up uh, coexistence in the ecosystem. Here you can see, well, we've got some peer-to-peer -peer, uh, traffic out there. And as you can see, there's quite a bit on it. That's probably why that object was uh, flagged by VirusTotal as a bad reputation. And now we can see it's even broadcasting bad uh, traffic that you shouldn't have in your enterprise, especially peer-to-peer -peer applications. This can introduce risk, malware, data loss, and those types of things. So with that said, uh, you have the ability to reach out to you with any questions or get further information on this at sales at promisec.com, support at promisec.com, or directly from the Blue Kite site itself. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for future informational videos by Promisec.